In this video, we are going to discuss about what are plugins in WordPress. So just like we saw that if we wanted to change the look and feel of the website, we use the concept of themes, which are a separate piece of package, you can say, and just add it to our site and get the work done. Now, similarly, if you wanted to extend the functionality of WordPress or you are looking for some functionality which is not existing. As we know, WordPress is a content management system which is designed for primarily blogging. So you could create posts and pages easily. Now, what if you wanted to add more functionality to it or have some other kind of utility or something like you say you wanted a contact form so that people could fill up that form and contact you or maybe you wanted some kind of extra security on the login page and so on. Or maybe you simply don't like the editor which is being provided to us by default in WordPress nowadays, right? you find it too complicated. So we can actually gain this added functionality via plugins. So if you go to WordPress site and here in the download and extend sections, you can go to the plugin section where you will get a list of loads of plugins. Right? You could search for plugins. There are around almost 60,472 plugins over here listed and they can add extra functionality to it. So you can see there is a featured plugin called as the classic editor and some other things are there. So what we are going to try is install this plugin and get it working. The interesting part is these plugins are not the part of the core content management system and they can be just added as new functionality. So you don't need to know any kind of programming knowledge or anything. They can simply be added or removed as and when required right though if you are a programmer you can update these plugins or write your own plugins if you are really interested so now go to your plugin sections just like the appearance in theme section you will get a list of existing plugins two of these are usually by default over there hello dolly is a demo plugin this one is a anti-spam plugin now if you want to add we can add a new plugin by simply going into add plugin we could upload a plugin if you have downloaded it or you could select it from here so this is what we wanted to add if you want you can search the plugins from here also so we will simply say install now and this plugin will get installed where does it get installed well it gets installed here in the plugins directory wp content slash plugin inside your wordpress installation so just like wp content slash themes was there there is this plugins and if you look at it here you can see that classic editor has been installed if you want to install it in the manual manner download your plugin over here or wherever copy it here inside this directory wp content slash plugin and uncompress it and your plugin should be inside a subdirectory or if it's a single page plugin it will show up simply over here like this so once the plugin is installed fine we go to the installed plugin page though you could activate it from here also but i just want to avoid that clutter and we will say activate fine now once activated fine the plugin if it has any settings you will see a settings option which can be seen here you can look into the settings as per your requirement now this plugin removes that earlier Gutenberg editor or the block level editor so let's try adding a new post we'll go to the post section we will add new and here you have the post section so here you could simply add a new post adding plugins and this is the simple classic editor where you can simply write your code or sorry not code your content over here to add a plugin you need to use the something like this whatever is your requirement just fill it up this is a simple text based editor and you are given certain basic options over here this side is obviously same as the previous one you can add your categories tags and so on and other things save your and publish your post so 
with this particular plugin we have got the editor let's get back to the plugin page now if you don't want this plugin anymore first of all you have to deactivate it once the plugin is deactivated then we will be switched back to the classic editor dependent on the plugin what action is to be taken okay another plugin that we want to try is the captcha plugin so let's say add new and here we will now look for captcha plugin captcha so there are a lot of captcha plugins and i had searched we'll use this simple login captcha it adds a captcha code into our login page fine so this is installed so now let's test this we will go to a new private window and over here wordpress dash local and wp dash login fine oh so we forgot to actually enable the plugin otherwise we should have seen the security code so let's get back and this time I'm just going to say activated from here itself. Okay, so our plugin is now simple login is active since it is deactivated. So it is enabled now. Now let's go back to the login page. We'll reload this page. And now you can see there is a code appearing over here which I have to fill in. So here, if I give the username, password, and an invalid code, let's see, let's see what happens. We get that error that this is improper. Again, let's try it with a proper code. And we will log in again, and we are successfully logged in. Okay, so we'll just close this window. So this plugin is now enabled. So this way, as per your requirement, you can download and enable your plugins and get extra functionality for your system. And if you are more enthusiastic, you can learn more about how the WordPress score works and how the plugins can be written. You can do the same also. But for that, you will need to have a knowledge of PHP programming language, HTML, CSS, and some JavaScript as well as how the plugin is to be written and using the WordPress core uh, concepts also. So that's it in this video. We'll continue our discussion further in the next video.